Welcome, everybody. I'm about to open one of these Disney Cars Endurance Racers that I got maybe last month. Um, I did want to point out, though, that I have a very similar uh, Endurance Racer looking kind of vehicle. I made this one two years ago, but before I take a look at this one, let's look at these guys. We have uh, JD McPillar. Now, one of these cars, I don't have it, but one of them is a misprint. Hello there, Tim Trellis, where the car says Tim Trellis, but it's not really a Tim Trellis. Do you guys know which car that is? Uh, let me know in the chat or the comments. Um, either it's JD McPillar or it's another car, uh, and I don't have it. But there, there is a car with a misprint. Okay, Rich Mixon. There you go, Tim Trellis. Yeah, there's a Rich Mixon, um, and it says Tim Trellis, but it should say Rich Mixon. So these are the new, or a month ago, color shift paint job Disney cars, next gen, and the color is supposed to shift a little. And I've got a little bit of a history with that. Um, I went to a car show in Orange County, and actually uh, LA, LA too, there's an LA car show in Orange County. And in the car show, I saw this cool truck, I think it was a truck. And it was purple, but when you walked by, it was it was like a metallic purple. When when you walked by, the the paint would change color. It would color shift, and it was very cool. It go from like purple to bronze to to like rainbow color. It was sweet. And so, when I was uh, painting Disney cars a couple years ago, I wanted to have that, and I looked it up. I was like, how do you do that? Um, and they're called color shifting paint or chameleon color. There's various names. And chameleon because chameleons, they change uh, colors. And I'll open up the the Jackson Storm. Um, I only have one of these, so I did want to open them up. And I think the best one to me, PS5 is going great, guys. Um, I haven't been having a lot of fun with a PS5. The one I like the most of this bunch is the Jackson Storm. And I, I, I saw this and I go, dude, this looks similar to my Jackson Storm, right? Let's take a closer look. And so the history with my custom Jackson Storm is that I saw that truck. It was awesome. I wanted to do a similar paint job. I looked it up to buy a little tiny vial of paint. Uh, I think it was like 100 bucks or something, for, like a real car paint. It was like so expensive. Um so I did the next best thing. Um, I found nail polish, and I've been doing a bunch of cars with nail polish because I'm I'm not I'm just an amateur and I'm not a pro. Um, and I did a few cars with nail polish, including I think I got one down here. Let's see, I got a uh, got my stash. Is it down here? Or is it down here? I have a Lightning McQueen somewhere. I did a Lightning McQueen, a custom Lightning McQueen. I swear I I thought I saw him. Um. Wait, uh, you know what? I don't know where he is. I I should have, I should have been better prepared. This one is is probably nail polish too. This kind of reminds me of another Jackson Storm. I uh, steel steel blue. There's a steel blue Jackson Storm. Kind of reminds me of that actually. That's another car I made that actually came out later. Like coincidentally, I made this one and then later on they came out with a steel blue Jackson Storm, um, released in Malaysia. I think it was Malaysia. You had to buy it online from sellers to get it. And this is another coincident car. I'll compare these two. So what I did is I got nail polish and I found a nail polish that had color shifting. And what it was is um, you, it's various layers of nail polish, mostly a clear polish. Um, first, you paint the car black um, as, a, as a base. You paint it black and then... Um, there was a, a metallic flakes or some kind of color shifting metallic flakes and you apply that on. And after you do that, you, there's a clear coat. And that's why you see little flakes here and that's why um, there's like little color shifting. And that's how the nail polish worked. And and it's pretty sweet, I think. I don't know, I, called, I ended up calling this the, uh, the Fortnite Galaxy um, Disney car because there's a Fortnite skin release only uh, if you bought a Samsung phone. Um, there's a Galaxy skin. There's also, that was a male version. There's also a female version where you could have just bought it from the store. And it looked kind of like this. It's pretty cool. Anyways, so yeah, this is, this was made two years ago. And then like last month, they released this one. This one's obviously a lot better. <laughs> um, 
If there's one thing I would I would do to this, uh, I would get a metallic, a metallic marker. You can get metallic markers, a gold one, and just go over the the wheels right here. Give it like a nice gold trim, and then this would be a perfect looking vehicle, kind of like this one. I went over with a little bit of uh, it's supposed to be silver, but it's not really so. It looks kind of gray. But I, I did that, but you would do that with the gold, gold rims, and this would be a sweet looking car. And actually what I planned to do was open up some of my metallic Disney cars. And I tried looking at them, I couldn't find them, but um, apparently this is not silver series. This is just a metal Daryl car trip. Um, it just kind of looks, it's got a cool a gray design. Hello there, Lightning Queen and Tim Trellis. And because I ended up finding, uh, what I like to do is I like to collect two of each. So I keep one in the box, and if I have find a second one, then I open it up. Um, this one, I think, only, I thought I swore I found two. I, I found a bunch of these in the stores, but I only have one. I can only find one. I don't know where my cars are, but I was going to, this one I do have two, so I was going to open this one up. This one, I swear I opened up a Jeff Corbett, but I do have two of these. And then I got a Miguel Camino. I, I thought I opened up, and then... There's also a, I have a Dynaco Cruise Mirror is not in my hand right now. And I was going to open them all up in a silver Disney Cars unboxing. But I can't find all of them. So instead of that, I made this video instead. Show you, this is what I've been meaning to do. Is show you the uh, the um, Endurance Racers. And while I have you guys here, I guess I'll open up one more before I go. Which one should I open up? People in the chat. Should I open up Lightning McQueen? Chase Race a Lot or JD McPillar? Let me know. I got one vote for Lightning McQueen. You know, honestly, though, he's not my favorite. I, I wish they used a different paint. It doesn't look very uh, metallic y. It, it doesn't look very metallic y. Well, like this one's got like a candy purple color. This one's just got like a, I don't know. It's like orange. All right, well, I only have one vote, so I guess it's Lightning McQueen. No one else voting? Oh. The voting is closing up in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's open up Lightning McQueen. See you later, Tim Trellis. Thanks for stopping by. Ugh. This is really hard to open. So here we have Lion McQueen. He's got the 95. It's a different font style. What? You do have the Rusties with the Lightning RS for a racing series. Yeah, this is interesting how they're using this different font for the 95. Different from the uh, the the Rusties Racing Center. I think my favorite graphic is the Rusties Racing Center Lion McQueen. And this one, let's take another look at this. This one still has Jack Storm right here. I would say my favorite racer is Jack Storm. He just looks really nice. Um, the next, <clears throat> a tie between Chase Race a lot and JD McPillar. I like JD McPillar because all these multicolors against the purple. And I guess I really do like this deep purple color because they have it here. It's kind of blue. Um, this one, I. I I feel like it's too one. I wish there was some more going on. Maybe some more like a metallic uh, green. Um, like the normal Chase Race Lot. The normal Chase Race Lot looks actually pretty cool. It does have a metallic green on it, I think. Um, like a dark green. So this is the next one. And then this one, I just wish they did a little bit more to it. It, it is sparkly, but I don't know. Maybe this needs to be more gold. Yeah, if this was gold, this would really pop out. But instead of gold, it's more like bronze. Yeah, if, if they did more so, more like gold, like the the Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen gold on this, that would be pretty sweet, I think. Actually, the Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, the metallic one, is my favorite version of of uh, Lightning McQueen, or one of my favorite. Um, I think that one looks kind of better than this one because it looks so sweet. And I missed your comment there. Let me see if I can go back. Nope. Can I go back? But hello there, Super Mario Jamie. I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks for stopping by and uh, listening. Thanks for listening to my little story here of how I made the custom Disney Cars uh, transition Jackson Storm way back when. 
And I got some googly eyes here. All right. Well, until then, see y'all later. Bye-bye.